I was approached by uh, the Flag Art Foundation, uh, Glenn Furman, uh, whose foundation it is, to uh, see if I would be interested in curating a show for them. Came up with this idea for uh, the show now called Disturbing Innocence, which was a show of uh, artists who use dolls, toys, mannequins, surrogates as their uh, expressive medium. What, what, what is it in the, you know, these first two decades of the 21st century? Why was it that the, uh, the artist, the talent in the uh, art world uh, was playing with dolls? You know, there's an expression, uh, that, or saying anyway, that you're only young once, but you can be immature all your life. So the question is, is there a difference between child, childlike, which is, which is actually not a, 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 as simple as being innocent, versus somebody who is trying to mine the, the true complexity of childhood. Uh, the, the first piece you see when you come in is a Lichtenstein house. And it's a sculpture that he did in, you know, his bright red, yellow, blue. It's, it's totally funny and, and uh, uh, smart. But then the minute you turn the corner, become much more complicated and, and disruptive to that, the, the external harmony that's there. The, there is, a, I think, an underlying sort of tension and uh, sense that this things aren't quite right in the work that's that you first see but it's it's not as explicit a, a thing as what happens once you turn the corner of the show it's it's presented in a language that makes it easy for people to find it amusing to find it childlike to find it innocent to find it playful but the fact is, is that it's clear this isn't that, for the most part. It's not that. It's something that is really functioning on a much more, you know, provocative and, and deeper level. The lasting feeling is the, the, the presence of this earnestness that's behind them. So.